Hello Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing each and every person that comes to the reading. Let them get clarity, truth and clarity, concise message from you. All right. So what I'm hearing is cleanliness is next to godliness. I won't go too deep into that. I think it's self-explanatory. Cleanliness is next to godliness. All right. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. Um, Some of you, let's see what's going on. Some of you hurt, you know, you hurt about something. Let's see. I was, yeah, eight of cups. You hurt because you had to walk away. And it was all out of self-respect. Like to stay in this, stay at this, you know, you would really just be, you would be continuously be disrespecting yourself. No self-respect. You had to analyze self. That's what is happening in the eight of cups. You're walking away from what was not fulfilling. You were acting or... Maybe you were trying to make it fulfilling, but it wasn't. It was like, you need to finish something up and then move on. And for some of you, it could be finish up the the leftover emotions, the sentiment that you still have for this particular person or people or group of people. You have to deal with that and then you can move on. The Eight of Cups talks about the spiritual journey. You know, so you may be on this journey. It talks about a spiritual journey of unknown length. I know everybody wants to know when, when is, when does the healing stop? I don't think it ever does, you know, um, the eight of cups. It's also a, a, a card of taking your power back. Like you continuously, cause the eight is two circles. You just kept giving your energy, your, your, your influence, your power to some things, to someone, and it was going nowhere. Imagine walking in a circle. You're not going anywhere. But if you start to walk in a straight line, eight of cups away from particular energy person, then you can get somewhere. So this was about, you know, withdrawing yourself, taking your power back and going in a new direction. Maybe that's what you had to do. It hurt you. You could still be hurt. It might have hurt this person, but it hurt you too. Could be dealing with a Piscean person. Uh, this could have been a karmic situation. The eight talks about karma. All right. Let's see what's going on. The seven of cups. You still think of them. They still think of you. This person made a lot of promise to you. And that's why you stayed. Okay. Broken promise. You know, the infidel, the, the cheating spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, whenever. This was somebody who procrastinated, who was careless with your time and your heart and your emotions. This was maybe even wishful thinking. You stayed in something because you thought like, okay, it, it, it'll turn out better. Or if I just stay, or if I just tweak this, or if I just, you know, ignore this, or I just don't get upset about that, you know, I can deal. Well, it kind of turned out that maybe you couldn't deal. You needed to leave this alone. Yeah. Was that 15, 16? You had to, you had to make a, a choice here. Um, a better choice. Maybe you had made, uh, you got, you got wrapped up in a, some karma, karmic situation here. You had to untangle yourself, untangle and unravel your emotions here. Somebody was just, um, indulging to keeping you as an option. You know, picking you up off the shelf when they wanted time with you. Or this is what you were doing, Aquarius. All right, let's see. What else was going on here? What are we going to tell Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius? Okay. The page of wands. Somebody wants to explore. And we'll see how far they can get with you. We're going to see if they can excite some new feelings within you. If they can. Um, this talks about the makeup session. The sex makeup session like you know let's um let's have sex we make up and but you know it's a page so it could fizzle out just as quickly as it starts okay because there's nothing grounding the energy what do you mean by grounding the energy well are you two going to have a conversation about how things have changed or are they changing or is this person going to present you with a ring or some type of proposal an apology uh, a list of things that they will change 
there's nothing grounding this. It's just like, let's hop in a sack. And then you get in a sack and then you're back together, quote unquote, until you find that they're not communicating with you anymore. They're not consistent. And it just kind of fizzles out. This person could be trying to string you along again. You know, I heard thing again. All right. Let's see what else is going on here. What do we, what advice do we have for Aquarius? What's the advice for Aquarius? The three of pentacles. So, um, work. Okay. Put yourself in, in work. I heard, put yourself, get in a book, self-help book, learn something about whatever it is you're trying to engage in, especially if you have a service or a product that you put out, learn, be a student of whatever it is you're trying to do on the three of pentacles it says that what you are doing is where you're supposed to be and that's why you are producing high quality work you may even get recognition promotion at work the higher ups see you doing your job well um even other people you know co-workers they see you doing a, a really good job and they're looking at what you're producing you're producing well because again you're where you just where you're supposed to be you got that feminine and masculine energy that yin and that yang with the you know divine help therefore the uh stages of creation here the three of pentacles you know you you produce something that is um high quality you're putting out are you putting out gems or you're putting out something here that um it's it's making people want to patronize you wanting to throw their money at you to get whatever it is you're, get, you're giving out or whatever it is you do the moon card your dreams might be vivid right now something is contrary to what it may seem could be dealing with uh cancer pisces yeah maybe scorpio but definitely cancer and pisces you be dealing with a Virgo also. Somebody that is away from you is trying to think of how they can work with you. This person also could be doing something at night. Divination. Secret. Secretly doing something to get you back. This could also you be you having released something. Yeah. Having the strength to release something or someone. Maybe around the full moon because you kind of knew it was a fallacy yeah then we have that hermit showing up you knew that it wasn't real it's it's all potential it's all you know what woulda coulda shoulda it can happen but somebody was not wanting to make the relationship real they want they want you to rest in emotions and emotionalism but what can how can you build anything you know from emotions It says that after this was like a karmic relationship where there was negative karma with the hermit card. And now that you are ghosting this, you are leaving this, um, you may be creating some new positive karma. And then so, this also reads as one of you still has negative karma that you need to work out and work off. And then the other has gone into, you know, birthing something new and positive positivity positive karma is coming from this person or somebody is positive and negative and that's that was the attraction there somebody definitely still has something to learn they have to go on that journey and then there's somebody who needs to just create elsewhere doing something else somebody has to catch up to you or vice versa you got to catch up to somebody this person doesn't like being left out in the cold or you don't like being left out in the cold, the five of pentacles, because it speaks to their ego. They also feel like this is temporary. Like they just hope that they don't have to stay here too long, that you'll come back and get them eventually. Some of you could have felt used by this person or they could have told you that they were using you. Yeah, you could have felt like you were used for fun, sex, this person knew that they were charismatic, outgoing, attractive, a charmer. 
You know, they disarmed you every single time with that smile. So you felt like you were used, but it says people who know their self-worth, it can never be used. You know, if you know that you're showing up as the empress, positive, so much to give, abundant. Abundant means more than enough. And this person is showing up as the hermit, needing to learn about themselves, have a, a transition in their personality, a transition in their philosophy. Uh, this person needing to go on that journey, you, they're depleted. You know, they don't have what you have. So you knew that you were going to be the one giving, you know. Um, so just know what you bring to each and every table. Therefore, you never feel like you um, are used or taken for granted because you already know something is going to be asked of you. And you're probably going to give more because you have more. You know, it, it's a better way of looking at it. I wouldn't say stay in something and knowing that you're being used, but do know that when, you, you know, to, to whom much is given, much is required. And then also, you, you got to look at it like this. If you were the multimillionaire and you're sitting at the table with, you know, people who are barely paying their bills, you know, um, sitting at the, the dinner table at an expensive restaurant, people are going to look to you to handle that bill. If not all of the bill, some of the bill. And, and you can't get upset and, and, and feel like you're being used when you know that you're the multimillionaire. Now, what you can do is, you know, have boundaries and draw the line. You know, well, I'll do this, but I won't do that. Um, but do know that um, when you have more and people see that in you, um, they'll try to take advantage and you just, you just have to have those boundaries. And then secondly, just know that when you're, when you're strong in your self-worth, you can never be used. You know, you could just, it, it's like water off a duck's back. It's like, okay, I, I already know you were going to want me to help you with that because you don't know how to do it and you don't even want to learn. And I don't even think you have the capacity. So great. I'll help you. But this is what I will do. And this is what I won't do. And that, that ensures you. And it also helps the other person out. You know, everybody isn't you. And you're great, Aquarius. Okay, moving right along. Um, yeah, definitely Saturn. Uh, lesson, tough lesson to be learned. Restriction. Some of you are pregnant. Some of you want to be pregnant. Some of you are waiting for that fruitful, wealthy marriage to come into your life. Now, wealth is more than just money, of course. Damn, can't make it up. Ten of Pentacles. Um, this also can be read a different way because I'm seeing the devil with the uh, Knight of Swords. Somebody could be trying to come back to you and say they learned their lesson. And they're for real this time. I don't know. You know, only, only time will tell with that. Someone could be trying to say... Uh, I am for real. I am changed. You have to believe me. You know, it, it looks as if you and someone are separated and you're separated. The universe has separated you, restricted communication, activity between you and a particular person because you both need to learn something individually. You or the other person is just frustrated with how this relationship is panning out. Wondering if you should reevaluate, sever ties, cut ties, because you don't know if you're going to get a return on your investment of energy, of time. You don't know if you're going to get the same old, same old. Somebody was just so much about money and getting money and just, you know, just the carnality of life. Those are the materialistic things. Or this is what they do. They give you money or they'll give you something and they hope that it, you know, it transpires or at least you understand where they're coming from or that they love you. And they try to show their love by way of gifting you stuff, giving you stuff. Somebody's definitely trying to say they learned their lesson, a tough lesson. Could definitely be dealing with the Capricorn. So yeah, someone's saying, you know, learn my lesson 
I want to come back. They're going to try to persuade you. They know they have to do something big to persuade you to not leave. Let's see what's going on here. So you're dealing with somebody who you had to cut off initially in the beginning and they want to come back and try to, you know, persuade you that they've changed. Real change has happened with them and that you don't need to leave. Let's see. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? And it could be the other way around for my cross watchers. Let's see. What does this person want to say? Somebody stuck in an unhappy marriage? They need help in terms of getting out of it. This could also just read as toxicity, like in low vibration and devilish energy. Somebody stuck in this devilish energy, you know, and they, they need help. They're unhappy where they are, you know, in their life. You could have blocked somebody on all social media. Your family could be jealous of you. I don't know why I got family, right? Um, Let's see what else do we have. Somebody's definitely um you block somebody and they can't deal with the fact of not talking to you, not having access to you. It's like they need to persuade you. I can't make it up, can't get over you. They need help. It's the second time we're we're seeing help, seek help. This person is definitely stuck here. Stuck in low vibrational energy, wanting to get out of it, not knowing how to get out of it. Constantly thinking about you, not knowing how to stop thinking about you, can't get over you. Other people are jealous of you. They can't get over the relationship or how you got out of a sticky situation. Some of you got a man in your house, a husband or not, who just doesn't contribute financially. Okay. Every time you ask them for money, it's I ain't got it. I don't have it. Um, some of you are just dealing with that and, and it causes stress and strain where you can't really rest in your feminine energy because you have to be the masculine and the feminine. You got to go get the bacon, come home, fry up the bacon and do everything else. So it just causes for an imbalance. Um, let's see. Somebody is an IG fashion model or something like that. Somebody gets a lot of attention. Okay. Somebody could be a, obsessed. You know, someone's obsessed with you know um looking at you um and maybe that's why you blocked them on all social media there could have been an energy of gang stalking also like some just let's see definitely somebody's in need of therapy your person you somebody's in a sexless marriage and that could be somebody definitely who's dealing with a, f a husband who does not contribute financially. It's just like, <laughs> no, I don't want to have sex with you. You know, um, this one is to come out or dangerous person. Watch your back. Yeah. So jealous of you. And I got family. Somebody is dangerous, jealous of you. Um, dangerously in love with you just came out. And this could be somebody who was a fan who used to be a fan and now you know, they turn into an enemy, maybe because you didn't give them the time of day, dangerously in love with you, dangerously um, stuck on you, jealous of you now to the point where they will harm you or at least try to. Again, that gang stalking coming out. Let's see. Somebody also, they're not sure. I'm not sure if you turn this person down, this romantic partner down, if they don't turn dangerous. Um. Somebody could be dealing with, you know, that they're the intellectual one and they're dealing with an idiot. It could be you. It could be somebody that has already has a relationship because we do see marriage, unhappy marriage. Some of you are dealing with people who are married. Um, they're dealing with somebody who's just an idiot and they're an intellectual. Therefore, they go outside of the relationship. They engage in risky behavior. You know, having a third party is a risk, right? Um, this could even be, you know, gambling in terms of your money. 
Yes. Okay. So this is the outside relationship weekend getaway. So somebody, because they are dealing with someone who doesn't have the same intellectual capacity as them, they look outside of the relationship. They may have found their match, their partner, but they're stuck. They need help getting out of something. Yeah. Someone's not willing to fix the marriage. We get a yes. And then we got a no. It's like somebody is done, but the other person is not. If someone is away from you, they kind of communicate with you through telepathy. Somebody know they treated you bad and they feel like now they're undeserving of real love. Or maybe they treated you bad because they, they had lack of confidence, self-esteem. They didn't think that they deserve real love. So what you were giving them, they didn't really take to it. Or they didn't really see that it was real. They just, they thought it maybe it was too good to be true. Now they're lovesick over you. Can't even get out of the bed in love with my friend. Now they see you as a friend. Um, somebody could have had a, a third party here late night creeping with, with the quote unquote friend. But they, that was their sneaky link. Let me see what else is going on here for Aquarius. For a lot of you, this is just um, karmic, you know, you met this person for a reason and you have to figure out your reason, not their reason. Like, oh, they, because they need to grow up. No, <laughs> why did you meet them? You know, um, to figure out why you met such a karmic and horrible person. What was it in you that attracted karma and horribleness? Is that a word? Someone saying I can't express myself in words. So I hope you figure out in my actions. And we saw that somebody trying to show you that they love you, they care for you by way of um giving you stuff, gifting you stuff, chase her in reverse. So somebody it could be you, Aquarius, because you did have the eight of cups coming out first. You're done. You're over it. Yeah, someone's saying it's it's just a relationship. You'll get over it. But it was in reverse. Somebody can't get over you. We, we saw that so many times. I don't have respect for women. If someone didn't have respect for women and they saw you as the most understanding person ever. Um, okay. So upright, this card says, I don't care about none of that soulmate, twin flame, mumbo jumbo. I love who I want. But it came out in reverse. So somebody is really awakening or awakening to maybe the twin flame soulmate type of energy because they can't get over you. This is somebody who can't stop thinking about you. So now they're asking questions because they are an intellectual. Whomever this person you are dealing with, they're trying to figure out, you know, it's, it was easy for me to always cut girls or guys out. And now I can't stop thinking about the Aquarius. What is going on here? So now they, they may even be doing research or trying to figure out what is this twin flame soulmate type of stuff that the Aquarius used to talk about. What's going on here? I don't, I don't understand. Let's see what else is happening for the Aquarius or this could be you Aquarius. You can be like, I just don't understand why I can't get this person on my mind. You know, um, you're super smart. You're super high in the sex is fire. So definitely, um, somebody really, really likes you, holds you in high regard. The universe wants you to know, understand something. You have complete control in this situation. All right. So you get complete control. Even when you feel like you don't have control, especially with that eight of cups, you're taking your power back, taking the control back, getting off the hamster wheel of doing the same thing over and over again, not getting what you want, being unfulfilled, uh, feeling like you're undeserving, uh, being disappointed, dissatisfied, but still showing up for it. No, it's time to leave, you know, to stay being disrespected too with the eight of cups because the walking away is an act of self-respect. So it's like you walking away now. Um, you have the control. All right. Um, someone's, yeah, somebody's saying, look, I financially support you. So I'm going to do whatever I want. Okay. I just, they just want that to be known. Um, I'm more spiritual than you. And that's our problem. Somebody is more spiritual. I'm about to call or text you. Somebody's for the streets, period. Um, so, because they want zero attachments. Okay. Um, someone could be lying. Um, she meant nothing to me, I promise. And it's in reverse. And then they're lying. 
Yeah, because um, maybe this is their girlfriend or boyfriend, but they want you too. So they could be telling you that, oh, that person means nothing to me, but they're treating them like a girlfriend or boyfriend, or they're getting the girlfriend, boyfriend experience with them. Now, is it going to last for ages, for years? No, it may not. But right now, how they're treating this person is better than they're treating you. Um, and you may be picking up on that and it's making you upset. Um, your person could be dealing with somebody who's just kind of an idiot. And they're a little bit more smarter than them. They kind of like that. Somebody could be engaging in sex magic. That's what they perform on you every time you guys have sex. Uh, it's like they know what, the, what they're doing. They know what to say to get to you. The cards want you to know that you give too much, okay? Uh, giving way too much. And maybe that's why it's time to walk away if you have not already. Let's see what else do we have for the Aquarius. Got a new car coming. Very nice. Uh, the toxic part is you keep letting me back. All right, so somebody already knows that they toxic is, you know, um, you keep letting me come back. So now they're placing the blame on you. If you close the door, I won't come back. But you do have a new car coming. So very nice. Uh, somebody does enjoy your company. They think you're cozy. But look, I do love you, but my love is toxic. So it's like, yeah, if you're wondering if this person loves you, yes, but it, their love is toxic. It's unhealthy. It's an unhealthy love. It's not going to be one that edifies and builds up. Um, let's see what the shells have to offer. What do the shells want to tell the Aquarius? What? Okay. So you have, okay, you got abundance coming out, Aquarius. Very nice. You got more than enough. That's what I'm talking about. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have nine of pentacles. So you do have an abundance. A walking garden says that card. Very nice. You're a walking garden. You got everything. That's why people be like, well, I know the Aquarius can do. I know the Aquarius guy. I know the Aquarius can, can handle this. I know the Aquarius can take unfair treatment because they're so great. Then we have mom. You could be a mom or you could have mom issues or you're dealing with your mom and you're trying to, you know, rectify that relationship. Uh, you're getting ready to be a mom. And then you have, I should have got my glasses for this. Hold on, let's see. Oh my God. All right. Career. <laughs> so maybe you're going to get abundance by way of your career. Okay. Magic. Very nice. All right, so you got some good shells coming out. So let the magic happen in your career. Even though you're a mom, you could be a working mom. Things will work out for you. You could be working on the relationship with your mom here. Or, or the relationship with your mom has hindered you in some fashion and you're realizing that. Um, some of you give, uh, you give too much abundance. Yeah, give too much. Maybe to your children. Lack. Maybe because your mother didn't give you enough, therefore you overcompensate with your own children. Watch out for that. Okay, friends. So friends may be jealous. We did have jealous of you. And then we have rings. So we did also kind of get like a gang stalking type of energy. So it could be a ring of friends. Just watch your page. They could be, on, they could be friends with, you know, amongst themselves. They're not even your friend. You know, um, they just watch your page. They... They're watching everything you do, everything negative they have to say about you. Kids, so some of you are giving to your children a little bit too much. Your kids could be playing a big part in your life right now, in your relationship. And we get a few more and then we'll close these out. Business, some of you have your own business or your kids have their own business. Maybe you're going to help them with their business matters. Let's see. Um, great body so maybe um, somebody has a great body of work or someone just has a great body someone has done a lot of work on their body if somebody wants their body back after having children after having kids all right let's see what else do we have stop all right so something stop or you put a stop to something maybe communication between you and someone else newborn baby can't make it up some of you do have an actual baby uh, on the way uh, kids coming out and their mom and if it's not a newborn baby, then this is um, a new idea, a business, a new business here. Because that's how you have to kind of treat a new a new business. You got to treat it like a newborn baby. You have to nurture it. Let's see what the soulmate cards have to say. And we'll close out. 
got some really good cards and shells here um i didn't get the father um shell so i don't know if the father is in the picture in terms of if you're a mom or not or if it's questionable or if this person is in and out okay so the cards want you to know in the end you tried and you cared and sometimes that's just enough take the leap of faith into the unknown go the in the new direction eight of cups there stop criticizing yourself you're perfect just the way you are yep release your worries and receive universal abundance this is what i'm talking about some of you don't really feel like your business can take off or it can sustain you and your lifestyle but you need to believe in yourself and believe in that you can have abundance you get abundance showing up twice maybe even three times with the nine of pentacles you have to release the worries and just receive okay because you're in an energy of maybe even you know doubting yourself okay so that's what i have for you aquarius i hope this reading resonated with you um, go over to the website, book your own reading, just like this one, to get clarity about your own situation. If you have one or two questions you want answered, you can text them to the number below. And um, yeah, text them to the number below. You can get them answered that way. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. If you feel like you're in the need of healing, take advantage of the amethyst bracelets or the black tourmaline bracelets if you feel like you're in the need of protection. Um, they're the website also. Come learn the tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. Hi, guys. I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos and you can also um get one question answered by me every month um and you'll get access to all the extendeds there is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care.